Hey guys, what is up? Mike here in this video. I want to talk about and give you a quick tutorial demonstration of the new prototyping capabilities within Sketch version 49. Now this literally just came out this morning. I was at the gym checking out my Twitter feed. Somebody said, Mike, have you seen Sketch 49? It has prototyping. So I got home, updated my Sketch version to 49. Played with it for about three minutes and I just got to say it's sweet. Now, literally, I just played with it for like three minutes. There's probably some bugs or different things that um, you can do with it. Um, but I just got to say that it's awesome. Now, Sketch has prototyping natively built into it. Um, it now competes with Adobe XD. Um, as we know, Envision Studio is coming out with their own carbon copy of Sketch that has prototyping as well. Um, Sketch. Uh, you don't have to use other, other plugins like craft plugins to get prototyping within Sketch. This reminds me of my old days when I used to use Adobe Fireworks. I love Sketch like I used to love Adobe Fireworks and now I have design and prototyping all built into one. I love it. You can go to their website right now, sketchapp.com, and you can click on this little see the, see the video and it gives you an awesome video demonstration of some of the things that you can do uh, with their prototyping features. All right, let me jump over to Sketch and give you a quick demo. All right, so here I am within Sketch version 49. I have a few artboards laid out. Uh, some of the things that you'll notice right off the bat is some of these icons now have been updated. You have a preview icon in orange. You have this little icon up here that says link. Um, the cloud icon now is in orange. Up at the top in the menu, you now have a prototyping um, menu option with some of the options there. Also, in the insert tools uh, layout you have this new feature called hotspot which reminds me of adobe fireworks where they had an option called hotspot where you can create basically hotspots you click on that and you can simply drag anywhere you want on your artboard and link up a page just like that all right so let me just go ahead and delete that you can also click on an object like i'm clicking on this little menu option here and you can click link up at the top and now you can link that object to any artboard and just snaps just like that giving you a little arrow just like all these other apps like Adobe XD does it gives you an arrow showing you that this link this hotspot is going to transition to this artboard over here now clicking on this hotspot here on the right hand corner in the properties panel you have now our prototyping uh, some prototyping options you can choose which page you want it to go to um, you can also change the transition so if you wanted to transition from the left um, you can click on that and so you click on preview and I click on this and now it transitions from the left now that was actually wrong I wanted to transition the other way so I'm gonna click back on here and I'll transition coming in this way so click preview click on that and now it transitions to that page just like that right um, also if I go over here now I want to click on this object and I want to click on link and I want to link it to this artboard and now I want to click preview again so click on this and it clicks back or it transitions to that artboard let me go over here I want to show you something so if I click on this artboard here I can go over to prototyping and I can say use this as a starting point so when I click on my preview it uses that page as a starting point. I can click here to menu, click into this burritos category, and I go over here. Now I want to link back. Let me jump over to this option here. I'm going to click on this icon, and I want to click on link, and I'm going to link back to this page. And I want to change the transition. I want to transition from this going from on the going from left to right. So I'm going to come back over here. Actually, let me just click on preview. So it's my starting point. Click on menu. Goes here. Click here. Now I want to go back. Just like that. And now you have prototyping within Sketch. Awesome. It looks like all the other apps now. It competes with all the other apps. And I love it. So if you're someone like myself, you love Sketch and you're heavily involved with Sketch. And now um, you want prototyping built into it you now get it with sketch version 49 play with it like i said i just spent maybe three minutes playing with it that's some of the things you can do within sketch uh, if you 
want to learn more about you know some of the things I teach, you can visit my site, mlfcode.com. Check out my training material. I have more stuff like this coming. Um, and uh, So I look forward to teaching and sharing more knowledge and things you can do within Sketch when you're building out apps. And I'll be talking to you guys soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.